But yeah, what I have here is music for the VOD, music for live, speaking, and and it's totally separate. So OBS takes uh, the feed for the virtual. Yeah, so, so Vlad, I think you dropped in just after I showed this. If you go to the output, if you go to advanced output, and only with Twitch selected as a service. So this is built into OBS, and it's totally separate from Soundtrack. You don't need to install Soundtrack at all for this. You get two, two audio tracks you can select. So this Twitch VOD track is optional. When you turn it on, it's going to stream two audio tracks instead of one. Whichever number is selected here is going to be recorded with the VOD. Whichever one here will be live. If you're doing a recording, you can record both. You can capture them both in a local video file of your stream. And that will let it, um, you know, an editor will be able to choose which clip, which track they want to work with. You can just capture the one without music. You could, you can add a third one and capture one that's just your voice and no background noise uh, or just game sound and no voice. It's like you have a lot of, and you could, you could do all of them. And knowing that you're doing all of them, you can go through here and set these so that you know, three, four, five, which one's my mic again? Mic. So three, four, five, six is not going to include my voice on the on the recording. And so now I've got a recorded video that doesn't have my voice on it. it may still have game sound, may still have music. Yeah, there's a lot of flexibility in this track section. And that will flow through into Twitch. So the whole point is to steal this, Vlad. This is why I'm doing a video. <laughs> the whole point is for people to, to start doing this and figure it out.